Hey everyone, I'm Ian. And I'm Raymond. Hey seniors, we have a few announcements, so listen up. If you haven't already, go to A100 to check the spelling of your name for your diploma and pay your senior fee of $65 at the bank. They can take cash or check. You can pay online, but it will charge you a convenience fee. The full balance is due this Saturday. Posa graduation stalls are on sale now for $25. To qualify, you must have completed a minimum of five health science classes or three health science classes and be currently state or national affiliated or be successful as a competitor and state and nationally affiliated. Please see Ms. Tomlinson to order today. Orders must be placed by February 20th. Wilson County Schools is hosting Montlow State College Professor Veronica Mitchell to provide juniors and seniors a free three-hour ACT workshop on February 22nd from 8.30 to 11.30 at Wilson Central High School and February 29th from 8.30 to 11.30 a.m. at Lebanon High School. She will share test strate strategies to maximize scores on each of the ACT subsets, English, math, reading, and science. Each workshop is limited to 250 students maximum. Go to the LHS website to register. Students must sign up using their Wilson County Schools Google email. The Volunteer State Medical Terminology Test is on April 4th. If you have successfully completed a minimum of three health science classes, you qualify to take the test. Please see Ms. Tomlinson and sign up by February 20th. Cost to test is $25. The district-wide art show at the Frist in Nashville is opening February 1st from 10 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. The show is open for viewing this Sunday till February 9th. However, there is a free admission this Saturday. Out of 256 kids, LHS has 18 artists. Be sure to go downtown and support your Blue Devils. The 2019-2020 Yearbook staff is working super hard to get your students' books perfect so they can have memories that last a lifetime. Your books are currently $80 and will go up to a final price of $90 on February 16th. Please support our staff and provide your students with something they will cherish before we sell out. We also have an album book for $10, and any student who has purchased a current yearbook to receive this price as well. Congratulations to our boys and girls varsity basketball team for beating Hendersonville last night. Tuesday marked 34 years since the Space Shuttle Challenger exploded after takeoff from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. On January 28, 1986, the Challenger lifted off and exploded 73 seconds into flight. All seven crew members were killed, including Christian McAuliffe, who also had been the first teacher in space. The explosion was the result of a rocket booster failure, which ignited the fuel tank. Here's some clips from the Indianapolis Fox 59 and NBC News explaining and remembering this tragic event. It was a bitter cold, but sparkling clear morning at Cape Canaveral. Here at the last seconds of the countdown. Four, three, two, one, and liftoff liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. All the communications between the shuttle and mission control indicated everything was going fine. There was a sense of relief that the much-delayed flight was finally underway. Engines at 65%, three engines uh, running normally, three good fuel cells, three good APUs. Engines throttling up, three engines now at 104%. Challenger, go at throttle up. Challenger, go at throttle up. It happened just over one minute into flight. Velocity 2,900 feet per second, altitude 9 nautical miles, downrange distance 7 nautical miles. From mission control, silence. Then the bland, chilling report. We have a report from the flight dynamics officer that the vehicle has exploded. Flight director confirms that. We are uh, looking at uh, checking with the recovery forces to see uh, what can be done at this point. Slow motion. A search effort couldn't begin for some 15 minutes after this. Debris, they said, just kept raining from the sky. The head of the space shuttle program had no explanations, just sorrow at the tragedy. At 11.40 a.m. this morning, Space program experienced a national tragedy with the explosion of the Space Shuttle Challenger approximately a minute and a half after launch from here at the Kennedy Space Center. 
Computer-enhanced video shows the explosion in detail. What explosion appears to happen at the rear of the spacecraft, around the main engines, perhaps in one of the two solid rocket boosters? Then a blast higher up. The shuttle was instantly a blazing fireball. Other crew members killed included Michael Smith, Francis Scooby, Ronald McNair, Allison Anuzuka, Gregory Jarvis, and Judith Resnick. Registration for next year's classes begin this week with rising sophomores. If you are wondering what to take, you can always reference our Blue Devil News YouTube channel to see what is offered, or you can take audiovisual. FCA will meet tomorrow at 725 in the auditorium, and FBLA is meeting tomorrow in the bank. Please attend if going to stay. The deadline is to turn in your applications for next year's criminal justice job shuttle course is this Friday. See Mr. Legman or guidance for applications. And the Humane Society will meet Monday after school in Ms. Jordan's room. Your Adventure Awaits prom will be at the mill on April 17th. Tickets are $55 and can be purchased at the bank or online. If you buy your tickets before March 6th, you will get a free shirt. Now let's see what's happening in LHS Has Class with Miss Fry's Cosmos Corner. So today we're going to be focusing on balayage. First thing we're going to do is part her into four equal sections and then take one of our bottom sections and put some bleach on her in a V shape and go all the way down. And then once you're done with that, you let it sit for 15 minutes. So we went ahead and finished up the whole head with balayage and then we styled and curled a section so you can see the results. lot of bleach and still smell the fumes from here. Remember, if you're interested in talking cosmetology, register for the classes and you can earn real world hours towards your certification. All right, Ian, I know how you are with the ladies, so you might want to listen to this one. Valentine's Day isn't too far away, so we wanted to make sure you are aware of certain rules that apply for gifts. If gifts are delivered to students, we will hold them in the office until the end of the day for students to pick up after the final bell rings. Items will not be delivered during the school day, and please remember, there is no glass allowed on school buses. The library will be holding a contest for the rest of the month. Stop by the library and guess how many snowflakes are in the jar for a chance to win a $10 gift card of your choice. The Blue Devil Rugby Football Club had their first practice yesterday, but it's not too late to join the team. Practice is every Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3.30 across from LHS. Park behind Bank, Tennessee, or walk from school. The Environmental Club has a trip to the Tremont Institute on February 7th through the 9th, and it's open to all students. The cost is $250, but that includes everything. It's first come, first serve, and any student can come to C206 during this week to ask questions or pick up forms. There will also be a meeting today after school in C206 that students can come to. February 8th, the softball team is hosting a chilly summer and silent auction fundraiser in the cafeteria and commons. 
Softball players are also selling $1 donation tickets for a chance to win a set of tires. Some auction items include a seven-night vacation to Mexico, fitness memberships, Nashville Predators tickets, sports memorabilia, oil changes, and gift certificates, landscape equipment, and more. Tickets can be purchased from any softball player and may also be bought online. That's all the news we have today, LHS. I'm Ian. And I'm Raymond. And this has been News to You from the White Blue.